There's all kinds of noise coming at us from all different directions. We need to be people of God who are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, who can clearly hear him and then respond when he speaks. I want you to write this in the comments section if you're committed to that. I want you to write these three simple words, no more noise. Let me read you something found in Judges chapter 16, verse 20. Then she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. When he woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. But he didn't realize the Lord had left him. Now, a couple of things about this portion of scripture. This is from the Old Testament. We understand that in the New Testament, the Holy Spirit doesn't abandon believers who make mistakes. Neither do I believe that the Lord completely abandoned Samson here in Judges chapter 16. Rather, what happened was the manifested, tangible, supernatural expression of God's power that rested on Samson by way of supernatural physical strength was removed from him. But here, as we read the story, we find that Samson had many opportunities to turn back to the Lord and repent of his compromise. It began in his youth. We see a couple of signs that there was some rebellion in his heart that he hadn't dealt with. And then as he enters this relationship with Delilah, we see on several instances that she asked him for the secret of his strength. Now, he was so blinded by his sin. He was so blinded by his fleshly cravings. He so desired Delilah that he didn't recognize the danger in that relationship. He didn't recognize that she was intentionally trying to destroy him, which is why she kept asking for the secret to his strength. And each time she would ask for the secret to his strength, he would tell her a lie. And what's interesting is that the Philistines would attempt this lie. They would attempt to do what Samson said would take his strength. And he didn't catch on right away. He didn't see that every time he told Delilah, this is how you take my strength, that the Philistines would come and try that very thing. He didn't recognize this because he didn't want to see it. Now, it wasn't until he finally revealed his secret that the power was lifted from his life. And again, in the New Testament sense, this is not necessarily what happens. The Holy Spirit doesn't leave you. However, as you begin to compromise, you begin to surrender that influence of the Holy Spirit on your life. So it's not that the Holy Spirit has abandoned you. It's that you no longer acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's not that the power of the Holy Spirit leaves you. It's that you no longer make use of that power that he's deposited within you. As in the case of Samson, it was compromised incrementally. He got closer and closer to the truth each time he revealed something to Delilah. At first, he lied to her, and then eventually, he fully compromised, giving up the secret to his physical supernatural strength from the Lord. And we see that here, Judges 16, 20, that Samson wakes up and he thinks to himself, I will do as before and shake myself free. He didn't realize that the Lord had left him. What a terrifying reality. And again, I am not saying that the Holy Spirit abandons believers. Jesus said, I'll send you another and he will never leave you. So we understand that the Holy Spirit dwells with those who are truly born again. And when you make a mistake, the Holy Spirit doesn't leave you. He stays with you to lead you into holiness again. And he works with you. Of course, there are consequences to sin. Of course, it affects your mind. It affects your life. Of course, God does judge it to a certain degree. We understand there's loss of reward and responsibility in eternity, and he chastises those whom he loves. So I'm not saying just go ahead and freely sin. I'm just trying to balance this biblical truth by also making it clear that the Holy Spirit doesn't just abandon the Christian when the Christian makes a mistake. But still, we see this frightening reality that Samson didn't realize that that supernatural strength was no longer upon his life. He didn't recognize that he no longer was able to do what he was used to doing. Here's the reality. When you ignore the voice of the Holy Spirit, he becomes more difficult to hear. When you continue in disobedience to what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, eventually there will come a breaking point where you bear an enormous consequence. Eventually there will become a point where, where that power that you thought was on you is lifted from you. I've seen this, and I'm just gonna be real with you here. I've seen this happen to ministries. I've watched as men and women of God who were 
not that they're no longer anointed, but they're no longer operating in that anointing that's available to them, but who were flowing in such purity, such power, such a grace. And it was so beautiful to watch. And then I watched as a little bit of compromise entered in their doctrines, in their character, maybe a little bit of pride, ego, competitiveness, these sort of things. You see that secret sin maybe began to grab hold of their character. And what began to happen was the power that flowed so beautifully wasn't as potent. And it's not, again, that it left, but they weren't making full use of that which was available and deposited in them. And so I've seen as wonderful ministries rise quickly and then suddenly enter into compromise, whether in doctrine, whether in character, whether in morality, whatever it may be, and suddenly you can see a difference. And you say, I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but something, something special was lost there. Now, they can regain that, of course, but, but it's notable. You, you recognize it. You see it, and you go, what was that? Well, that was a lack of sensitivity to the voice of the Holy Spirit. In your life, there are compromises that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you about. I often hear people bragging, oh, I'm so sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Oh, I know his voice. Oh, I can hear him so clearly. But I'm not impressed with how clearly someone can hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. I'm more impressed with how quickly they respond when he speaks. Sensitivity is not just about being able to hear him. There are many people who hear him, yet don't obey. Sensitivity is all about how quickly you respond when the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And as it was in the life of Samson, so it is in the life of those who compromise. Little by little, sin overtakes their life. And when you are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you catch and deal with compromise as soon as it becomes a problem. Others may call you legalistic. Others may make fun of you because you don't do what they do or talk like they talk or go where they go. They may say, well, you're taking it too far. Oh, well, you know, you got to have a little bit of fun or you need to enjoy your freedom in Christ. Little do they know they're tempting you to compromise your calling. And you may be a subject of mocking and ridicule and persecution because of this. You may be excluded from some things because people don't want to bring you around because you make them uncomfortable in their compromise. But this is the truth about those who are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. It's that they catch and deal with compromise. Maybe you're like that. Maybe you know what it is to be rejected because you don't do things the way others do it. Maybe you know what it is to be excluded because you have a higher standard for your life than others have. And that can be frustrating sometimes, and it can even make you feel isolated. But rest assured and be encouraged that this is a mark that you are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. When people are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, what doesn't bother others, even other Christians, bothers you greatly. It's, it's sensitivity. It's like um, if, if I were to burn my hand, and the skin became sensitive, I, I, if, if someone were to touch my hand or shake my hand, instantly my reflex would be to pull my hand back when they went to shake my hand. Why? Because the skin is sensitive. So sensitivity brings forth reflex. Spiritual sensitivity brings forth spiritual reflex so that the moment compromise touches you, you immediately recoil because you can sense it strongly. And those who are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit don't allow for compromise. That's how sin works. Listen, temptation is not an event. It's a process. It's something that over time begins to overtake your life if you don't begin to deal with it. And I want to pray with you now. I don't believe you're watching this by accident. I believe God wants to do something for you right now. I believe that the Holy Spirit has directed you to this, that you might benefit from the truth that's been communicated. And I want to pray with you. Let's seal what God has spoken in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift that one to you now who is receiving this truth. And I pray, precious Lord, that your Holy Spirit would continue to guide them. Help us, Father, to catch compromise. Teach us to be sensitive in that way to your voice. Father, help us to not walk in presumption but to consult you daily. And Lord, we pray that we would not become religious, but Lord, that we would be spirit 
faith-filled servants of the Most High God. Give your people that ability, that hunger for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. I want you to say it because you believe it. Say amen. If you enjoyed this teaching, make sure you're subscribed to my channel to learn more about the Holy Spirit prayer and spiritual warfare. Also, don't forget to leave a like. If you'd like to help this ministry continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all around the world in the power of the Holy Spirit, then go right now to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate to give a single donation or go to davidhernandezministries.com slash partner to become a monthly ministry supporter. Your support helps us continue to release new content, host live streams, and host events all around the world. Thank you for watching, and until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God.